What's up, all my Power Riders crew? Today's video, we're working on the CJ door again. And I got this little weird issue to where my window will only roll down to about right here and stops. I can't roll it down any further at all because you'll see in the video. So, it's kind of a pain, honestly. I mean, it's summertime, well, it's springtime actually. It's about time to put my soft top back on and the soft uh, cloth doors. But, I mean, I would still like these doors to work while I got them on there. So to stop right there is kind of a pain in the tail because I can't pain the tail because I can't get any fresh air, drive throughs, that's a problem. ATM teller, ATM teller machines, that's a problem. So we're gonna show you guys what to do to fix it. I found what the problem is. It's not that hard of a solution. Matter of fact, it's free. But first, if it's the first time you guys are landing on Power Addicts YouTube channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I do Jeep videos, car videos, motorcycle videos. Uh, tool videos, review videos, I do all kinds of cool educational stuff, so you just might want to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a thing. Hit that little bell notification right down below right there, so it'll notify you when I release these videos. Let's get this door fixed. Get on with it. Let me show you what's going on. Windows rolled up, come down here, roll the window down, yeah the handle's just kind of stuck on there, it just gets right there and stops, will not go any further. That's as far as it goes. Now watch this. Watch those rods right there. See how they're flexing and bending? I noticed that, I thought, wait a minute, somebody right about that. What's happening is, I bet you the window regulator inside here is coming down and hitting those rods, so those rods will run wrong. So what we're gonna do is use my little scope camera here, run that up inside the door, and we're gonna see what's going on. So let's take our little camera, let's run inside the door to see what's going on. But there's the bolt for the handle, for the outside door handle. Now see those two rods right there? Uh, let me figure out which way I'm going here. See those two rods right there? Okay, I'm gonna roll the windows all the way up. Those two rods are there. Okay, I'm gonna pull the. I'm, this is a pulling the handle like I'm opening the door. It's attached to the latch up front, and it goes all the way back to the door latching system that grabs the striker above the rear. Now, notice the other one moving. That's how you lock and unlock the door. That's the rod that locks and unlocks the door. That's the one that opens it, the other one locks and unlocks. Now watch what happens when I roll down the window. See where those two rods are? It's catching, that's the window regulator right there that raises and lowers the window. The flat bar over on the side is next to the door skin. So what I believe happened is that that um, door latch on the inside, like right by your steering wheel when you reach the door handle to open up the door, it looks like it's relatively new or at least been replaced. And what I bet you happened is that whenever they ran the rods back through the door, they ran between that flat bar and the window right there to uh, put the bars back in. So what I gotta do is pull the latch back out and run the bars in the correct manner. So, yep, let's get on that. Pull that rascal out of there. Now the first thing we gotta do is pull that screw out right there. Now depending on what screw somebody stuck in there, it could be a Torx or it could be a hex head, whatever the case may be. I'm using a three millimeter hex, which fits it just fine. So we gotta take that screw out first. And these two clips here, and there, we gotta pop them back. Now to pop these clips, this right here's got the tab still left on it, so just get your flat screwdriver, pry that down. Then this right here, you probably have to get right up here and pry it down too, but I'm holding the camera with one hand, so yeah. That's what you gotta do, you gotta push some tabs down to unlock it, come on, cooperate. 
See, I need to hold the door while I push, so you get the point. Those slide down. When I push them down, I'll get the camera back on. You'll see what's up. So since I have both hands free, when I set the camera down, I just took that bin up like that. I took the edge of the screwdriver, just hung it right on the end of that right there. Took, the, took my other hand and just popped the top of the screwdriver a little bit and it snapped it right down on both of them. So that's the position you want them in there because then you can take the rods, pull the rod out like this, put it like that, pull this rod out, and work with it too. But as I, before this rod's gonna go back any further, I gotta pull this out to bring all that this way. Now before we pull these rods out, just take note as to which one goes where. This longer rod here is connected to this handle here is the one that opens your door. Because when you pull it, it's pulling this one right here. I mean, this maker's moving because they're crossed up. If I pull out on this one, you see that the handle's moving. So the long one goes here, the short one goes here. So you bring the long one down like this, pull it out on your handle like this, and your handle goes back like that. Then, see so this is kind of... I'm gonna try not to kick the camera. It's all up in my way. Anyway, people, that camera right there is all up in my way at the moment, but you see what I got to do. This has got to come this way and bring the rods out with it. So, now here's the behind the handle look of what you got to deal with. This hook right here is hanging on that bracket right there. So what I had to do is pull it outward and kind of twist it upward like it was there to get it to clear. And now I can bring rods and everything out at one time, like that. Now what I gotta do to put them back in. Hmm, I'll show you real quick. Let me show you guys how to put this in the correct way. Now intuitively people think, well, it's going in this direction, so let's feed your rods in from this way. But what happens is when I feed it in from that way, guess what? I'm on the wrong side of that flat plate back there. I told you guys that we need to be on the inside of it because I'm moving the rod, as you can see, and then I push right here, which I'm moving the panel a bit intentionally to show you about where my hand is. That's that rod is stuck in behind that rod again. So if I leave it like that, push it all the way in, latch it in, the window is going to be in the same situation I started in. So what do you do? Simple. Take your rods, feed them downward. Feed them straight down like this. As I take my hand, uh, you can't see it, my, hand, my finger is probably about an inch below that hole right there. But I take my hand and guide those rods down behind that flat bar on that window regulator. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, down, down. And then tilt back like this. Bring it out like this. Push your latch inward some so it allows that to start seating into the socket. Tuck it in like that, but I got froggy. I got ahead of myself. Remember these rods down here. We're not going to pay attention to this right here at the moment. Let's come back down here to this. Tripod legs. So look, this is behind this. I can't have that. So I got to pull this latch back out just a little bit. Pull this, bend them outward like this, flex this panel out, then push handle back in place okay now this is snapped in place up here now what you gotta be careful is that these rods are not crossed going through here and see that's gotta go up that bolt goes all the way through right here this rod was hanging on the bottom of that bolt so you get it up above that there Feeds that one. This one comes up. Pull this out. Get it above that bolt where it goes through here. Right there. And what should happen, there's that. And I'm kind of holding the door latch in place. Let me back up so you guys can see what I'm doing from there. Let 
All I'm doing is taking my hand, holding this, pull that. You see it's moving this rod. Push that right here. It's locking and locking the door. They're scared, guys. Then we take our clips, snap that one in place, rotate this one up, snap that in place. That's done. Then we're gonna get up here, we're gonna put a screw back in this. Whatever I've done with it. There it is. Okay, that's snug. You don't want it tight, you don't need it super tight. Moment of truth. Okay, here's what's going on. Is it fixed? Technically, yes. But this door, I don't know if you guys can pick up a camera, this door is kind of concave like this, so it's, it's popping inward. So whenever it's coming down, see, if I hold this outward, it does just fine. But if I leave it, if I put this here, bring it down, it's hitting on the end of this bolt right here. This bolt is technically too long. I don't know if you guys noticed whenever I had the camera, little uh, board scope up inside there, how far that bolt sticks out through there. Luckily, when I come on down, it doesn't hit the glass. That's a good thing. Because see, I just pulled it out, just a bump right there. And it comes on down. But we got two things working against us. One, the bolt's too long. Two, this panel right here is oil canned. It's being pushed in like that. So whenever I go to rebuild these doors, I'm gonna put me a real thin metal U-channel across right through here to keep this popping out. And also I wanna knock that den out too, but that's for a later video when I go to re re take these doors apart and rebuild them. So there you go. And as the wind is rolling down, it's this channel right here that the regulator runs in, that the window sets in and stuff. It's hitting on the bottom of that, that's what's hanging on. It's like, you see it sets out from the glass probably by a good half inch, five eighths of an inch or so. So it's clearing the glass just fine. As the glass comes down, it's going a little further inward as it goes up high. So it's clearing the glass perfect. It's just a piece right here that's hitting on. So it's all good. Also, I know someone's got to point out another option would be to put your cover back over top of this because the cover is strong enough because of the ribbing right here that it'll hold that out and you're correct it would but this right here happens to be the passenger side I don't have a driver's side for this so what I'll be doing is I'll probably scrounge around some eBay and see if I can find that cover right here and when I bolt that cover on that'll help support this you know oil canning coming outward like that and they'll make that boat clear that window coming down but for right now I'm gonna at least I can roll down my window now and if I do roll it down, I'll get this pull out of that handle as I roll it down, it'll be good to go. Not a problem. So I'll definitely be on eBay looking for another cover right here to help that situation. Yay, my window works now. Cool. I can go through a drive through and get my food. I can go to the ATM and get some cash for E2 or deposits and not have to get out of my Jeep. That's a good thing. You guys might want to subscribe if you haven't because later on when I get my soft doors back on, I get my uh, soft top back on and such, I'll be tearing these doors apart for a complete rebuild. That's, that'll include pulling all the windows regulators out of it, pull the glass out, the wing windows, uh, all the trim that goes around the glass, putting all that stuff back in new. A uh, little bit of um, welding patching. It's got a couple of dents in it that I've been taking care of, so that's some cool videos. If you got hard doors, that's a cool video you might want to check out. All right? So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Leave those cool comments. And uh, like and oh yeah, don't forget to share these videos out. When you share them out, you're spreading all the knowledge. When you spread the knowledge, you're helping other people. I create the videos. You guys share them out. It helps everyone. Cool? Sweet. All right, everyone. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Peace out. Later, y'all.